the section is going to be really really fun because we are going to create a ping pong game that two players can play at the same time. The section is based on a library that is called Turtle. And Turtle is a very very simple library that helps us create simple games like those we saw on the arcade in the 80s. So let's get started and code some Turtle. First we are going to say, first we are going to import what we call a Turtle. Before we start coding any game, let us create a window that will show our game. We are going to create a screen first, and this screen is called turtle.screen, capital letter, and by that we have created the screen. Now we can give it a title, so I'm going to say screen.title, we're going to call this ping pong. Next, we can specify the background color for our window. So I'm going to say here screen.pg color. And then we are going to say that the background is going to be blue. Next, we need to specify the size of this screen. So we'll say screen.setup. And then we will say the width of the screen is maybe 800 pixels. And we have the height and let it be 600 pixels. We are almost done. We just need to activate the tracer. So we have screen.tracer and we need to initialize it with zero. And by that we have prepared our screen. Now if I click on play, I will be getting a window that looks like this. But it will crash immediately. So let us add one more thing which is called screen update. And this will be in an infinite loop. So we will say while one. To create an infinite loop, then here we will simply just say screen.update and we will run the program again. Now take a look, we have a window that is called ping pong, it has a background of blue and we have a width of 800 and a height of 600. So this is how we initialize our first window using turtle to create our ping pong game. Now let me explain how will this ping pong game be. We are going to create two bars right here that will represent the player paddle, which they will move up, down, right, and left. We have two of them, and then we have a ball in the middle that will be bouncing between these two paddles. And the goal is whenever this ball will be bouncing between the players, and if a player can get the ball into his opponent's other side wall, like right here, then he will get one point. So this is what ping pong is. Now let's start implementing more functions and see how easy it is to create simple games with Turtle. 